Hi friends, it's Heather and I am on my third tutorial here um, working with the layers and I thought we would go ahead and add some text. Um, so i am got my text um, button here I have hit and an easier way to find out what um, like which font you want to use is by going up to your windows dockable dialogs and hitting your fonts button and all your fonts will show up which is pretty cool. And so I'm just going to go with the one that I already have, this Baroque script, and I'm going to move this out of the way. So whatever you click on shows up in the little bar over here. And I want the Baroque script. All right, and whenever I'm normally putting my text in, I just start out with inches, and I start out with a quarter of an inch size because I can actually see it, and so that's why I like it. Oh, so I'm going to hit on the text and that way I know it's all in here and that we're working and I'm going to come over and I'm going to make sure that I'm on um, a layer above since I can't move layers in this very easily um, but if you just wanted to poke a layer like on top of your um, frame but underneath your girl you could just create a layer right here but I'm going to go ahead and do mine on the top and I'm going to start and I'm just going to write Bella Okay, and I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to um, show you how to adjust the size the easiest way. And I'm just going to change it now to pixels. And you just hit this little up button and it gets bigger. Or you hit this little down button and it gets smaller. Um, and so that's like at 103 pixels. 104. Let's make it a little bigger. Okay, and now I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to um, move the active layer. Sometimes I'll pick a layer or guide, and um, if you're on the pick a layer or guide, what you'll see is that, um, like right now, I would be moving my background, whichever layer I'm show, um, on. So, like the uh, it would be a the white beige layer is moving. So I'm going to select or edit and undo move that layer. Because um, if you, let's see, go down here. All right. And if I use the move the active layer, that should move our Bella. Okay. Um, if I go back to pick a layer, and I go up here um, and I like see this little hand is showing up with the um, little crossbars and I've got my little mouse button alright you'll see that like no matter what I just have that um, little hand but if I move to like where I'm actually on the Bella like the black word I have just the move tool and so if I left click now, I'll move just the Bella. But if I move down here um, just slightly, so if I'm not all the way, once the hand disappears, you know I'm on my letter. But if I slightly go down just a little and left click and move, it moves the other layer. Um, that is one of those things that took me forever to figure out. So you can either move the active layer, which is the one you're on, here you go, which sometimes it's difficult to even get it to do that or just use the pick layer and just know that you have to be on the actual one of the letters somewhere in order to get it to move. So I'm going to put that right there. Okay, and I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use this filter again to repeat my drop shadow. So now it's going to do a shadow and it's kind of behind. And that's kind of cool. Um, but let's see. I'm going to turn that shadow off and maybe I'll try a different one. So I'll go to um, filters again. And let's go down to light and shadow to drop shadow. And this time I'm, we'll change it a little bit and play with the numbers. Um, let's make it not quite so opaque and let's make it let's offset it 
Mm, how about less? No, not minus one. We'll go how about s ten. And so this it shouldn't be as far away um, from the it shouldn't go as far. Uh, and actually, we could change the opacity so that it's like a really dark, just dark line. And let's see what happens this time. Yeah, so it's very close. It almost looks identical to, uh, you just barely see it. But I like it. And if I were to turn the text off, you still see it almost looks identical. It's just offset from the um, original text. Now let's go and turn this one off and let's play one more time here with the filter. And go to light and shadows. And go to drop shadow. And have my drop shadow box up. And I'm going to leave everything the way it is, but I'm going to change the color this time. And let's see about going with, um, like there's red. Let's see. Let's find some white. Let's just go with a white color, which is kind of fun. Otherwise, what I can do, what I like to do, is I'll go over here and I'll use my change the foreground, this tool here, where if you click on that, it'll take you to your foreground. And I'll find a color I like um, that I've already been using. So let's, just so you can see it, um, let's go with pink. And so now my pink is shown up. Get my toolbox out of the way. And this is the script. Um, this is what we want to do our uh, drop shadow with. And so we want to pick a color. And you'll notice that even if you, um, like I've tried dragging the colors over and it, maybe it'll work. Nope. Could be just the um, program. But what I normally do is this is the color number here. And I just select it, right click, and copy. And I come over here and triple click to highlight that. Right click and paste. And then you'll see that those are both the same and hit OK. And so now my color is pink. So that is the way to change your um, shadow color. So let's go ahead and press OK and see what we get this time. We get a pink. Yeah, that's fun. I'm liking it. All right, so now we've got text. Um, we've learned how to put our text on, we've learned how to move our text around, and we've learned how to do a drop shadow, which is really a lot of fun. So hopefully this will give you guys enough information that you can add um, a couple layers together uh, to put on top of each other or to, um, you know, layer differently um, so you can do our July challenge. And I think I'm going to leave it there. And if you got any questions, you know, you can send me an email or you know, contact me through Bella's, or you can just, um, you know, send me a note on my blog. Either way, um, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.